Yo, what's up everyone, QG here. Um, so I've had a lot of people message me uh, to make a tutorial on my trap that I've been using in my last couple of videos. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you don't watch my videos, um, I'll insert a quick clip right now. Cool. So yeah, this trap, you, anyone, literally anyone, you don't have a rank, you struggle, anyone can get rich with this trap on HCF, trust me. Um, so, what you're going to need for this trap is some sticky pistons, regular pistons, blocks, pressure plate, some repeaters, some redstone, and two redstone torches, right? Now to start the trap off, what you want to first do is find an area that would fit the trap, which is mostly a hill, because then the push trap is pretty long, and it's like too high, so it's hard to hide it. So what you want to do is you want to find a hill so you can blend it in, you don't have to cover it up, it won't look obvious at all, okay? After you found an area, what you want to do is you want to build it like this. So, so you want to do it like this. You want it five wide, so one, two, three, four, five, because the push trap pushes four blocks. The drop down is the fifth. Put up fence gates, okay? You can make as long as you want, but I suggest like six, like that. It's just the perfect amount. Five, six. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with this creative server, but all right, make it three high because there's no difference with having it three high or two high it's even better with a three high because more people are likely to run in um, this trap is made for 1DTR trapping by the way so if you don't want to risk 1DTR trapping I mean you could maybe someone will run in when you're not on 1DTR but uh, I all only trap on 1DTR um, so yeah so after you've done this right you want to choose which side you're going to do the drop down on. I, I usually do this one. It doesn't really make any difference. Um, right, so for the pusher trap. By the way, if you know how to make a wall pusher trap, because I know a lot of people know how to make it, um, I'm going to put a timestamp on the screen right now so that you can skip to the drop down part where I build the tr this side of the trap. Um, okay, so for the people that don't know how to build any of it, um, you want to break this right come in here mine this out mine all this like let's say this is a hill you mine all this out right you're gonna make it this too wide like this then you just want to place a line like this and another two lines with every other block being a gap just like that okay so it should look like this three slugs like that and the two wide all right cool so now what you want to do is put repeaters here redstone behind them and repeat is all along these gaps here okay pretty simple stuff now once you've done that it should look like this okay after that what you want to do is put from the last block just put pistons all along here just like this it should be four pistons so one two three four okay it should look like this and then you're going to go back in the base, place blocks here, and that is pretty much done. That is literally done. Um, so now, if you want to copy exactly what I do, where you can place a pressure plate anywhere in this area and pull it instead of having a lever, because it's kind of annoying having a lever really, uh, what you want to do is, you want to mine this bit out, four blocks, so that's four, because the top of the base is four blocks. And the fifth block is to drop down obviously like this and just place redstone all along on these blocks okay now what you want to do is you want to go out here and connect it whichever side you want most likely well it has to be this side really not the fence case side and you want to go down two blocks so one two and just mine along into here connect it with the redstone Put a repeater about here, it doesn't really matter too much as long as the redstone reaches. And that's literally done. It should you can test it out if you want, but if you follow my steps, it should really work on first try. Um, okay, so now for the drop down, right? What you want to do is you want to break these blocks opposite the platform. 
sticky pistons all along here. Blocks right here. Oops. Um, just break these blocks right here. Repeaters along here. Redstone right here. And you want to go one down, just like that. One down. And you want to follow this along here into the drop down. The drop down is right here. Okay, like this. Place a block here. Connect the redstone all along here. Into here. Don't put redstone on the last block. So, what I do now is... You need to activate the uh, drop down. And then put a redstone torch on the drop down. So what I do is break this block right here. Place that. And then place it on the drop down. Now make sure you break this first torch that you placed. Otherwise... I'll give you an example, you screwed, it doesn't pull. So what you want to do is break this redstone torch. Now if you pull it, it should work, right? Now what I do is, obviously if you've watched my videos, when when I pull the trap, I always pick up this redstone torch or the um, player that I trapped pulls uh, picks it up and I usually get it back in my inventory after I kill him. So that's one torch you get, but you'll, you need two, obviously, don't you? So what I do is I usually break this block and leave it, leave another one here so that I don't have to take another one every time I want to reset it from a chest because it's kind of annoying. Make sure you place it one down, though, otherwise, obviously, it won't pull if you place it just right here because it's activating the redstone. So, yeah, that's literally done. The trap's done. Give you an example. So someone runs in, you wait about 20 seconds if they, like, trying if they're trying to hate food time warp pull it anywhere boom that pulls it and you put it here oh and by the way you want to put the this trap opposite the fence gates you don't want to make it this side otherwise the redstone torch activates the fence gate and they could possibly pearl out but um that's pretty much it um to reset the traps you just break all these blocks break the pressure plate Okay, open one side up, break all the pistons from the first two rows, and you will just like, it'll look like that, right? Break the last, uh, the second to last block of pistons, and just fill them up like this. Boom, 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 boom. That's three. Then you need the fourth layer, like that. That's done. Fill it up with blocks. And that's just how quick it is to reset this trap. It, it takes like no time. The drop down to reset it, you just place the block here, jump down here, boom boom. Make sure you break this block after you place it because otherwise they'll land on it when you pull the drop down and they might get out. Um, break the redstone torch, you now have two redstone torches. Place the one, place the other, break the first one, place it back, boom, reset, fully reset again. That took how long, like 30 seconds? So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, two warnings though if you pull the trap while they're in the fence gate because it's a half a block they suffocate which is bannable so just be careful they're not in the fence gate while you pull it also if you're mid-air like they combing you or you jump as you pull it you're going to suffocate but you can mine yourself out but they can pearl in with you and stuff like that which is annoying so when you pull it i usually just run a little bit just so that i'm not in mid-air and pull it and it should work and that's literally it that's the trap um yeah I guarantee anyone who uses this trap will be rich. Because nobody uses this trap. Like nobody I don't I don't know anyone who knows about like I've never seen this trap before. Like I've like obviously a wall pusher trap's been in the game for like years, but to combine it into a three high base. Like hate who runs in your base, doesn't matter how good he is, he's instantly trapped. Like there's no there's nothing he can do, he's in a drop down. You have two safe rooms on each side. Like you just, yeah, he's dead. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, uh, found it helpful, uh, leave a like, share it to people that might be struggling on HCF, especially with like no ranks and stuff, because this trap will definitely get them rich. I guarantee it. It should get them rich unless they like quick drop or something. But um, yeah, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, peace out.